Assalamualaikum. The topic of our discussion is phylum mollusca. In this topic, we will discuss definition of mollusca, examples of mollusca, general characteristics of phylum mollusca, classification of phylum mollusca, and last one, importance of phylum mollusca. First of all, what is phylum mollusca? The mollusca or mollusks encompose a large phylum of invertebrates, animals known as mollusca. Around 85,000 extinct species of mollusca are recognized. Familiar animals including snails, oyster calms, octopus and squid. Many species have a calcareous shell. You can see the representative members of this class here. Now, some examples like snail, land and aquatic slugs, Squid, cuttlefish, mussels, calms, and these are the representative members. Clearly, you can see here. Now, we will discuss what are the general characteristics of phylum mollusca. Phylum of organisms characterized by having a soft body, muscular foot, and most often a protective shell. The first characteristic is bilateral. Symmetric, symmetry, body has more than two cell layers, tissues and organs, body without cavity, body possesses a through gut with mouth and anus. You can see here its anatomy internally complete. Next, body monomeric and highly variable in form, may possesses a dorsal and lateral shells of proteins and calcareous spicules, has a nervous system with a circum ganglia and paired nerve cords has an open circulatory system with a heart and an aorta. Body monomerical and highly variable in form may possesses a dorsal or lateral shells of protein and calcareous spicules. Has a nervous system with a circum, esophageal ring, ganglia and paired nerve cords. Has an open circulatory system with a heart and an aorta. You can see here its complete anatomy. Next one is has gaseous exchange organ system called sentinel gills, has a pair of kidney, reproduction normally sexual and gonochrostic, feed a wide range of materials, live in most environments. Now we will discuss the classification of phylum lusca. The main classes of this are bivalvia, monoplacophora, gastropoda, sphalopoda, scapoda, aplacophora and poly. Placophora and uh, the representative members of uh, bivalvia is scallops, calm, muscles, and uh, all uh, representative members of this family you can see here with examples. First of all, we will discuss the class polyplacophora flat body that are most often covered by eight shell plates. Example chitinous. Second structure, flat body that are most often covered by eight shell plates function. They use their large flat feet to attach tightly to rocks, feed on uh, algae and uh, other organisms that they scrap off the surface of rocks with their radula. Reproduction mostly sexual and internal. And uh, these are the two representative members of this class. The second class is class scaphoda. Example, scaphopores commonly called tusk shells. Structure and function, tube-like shell that is open at both ends, buries themselves in bottom sediments, use their foot or special tentacles that emerge from head to capture their prey. Feeding mostly on foraminiferans, reproduction separate sexes and uh, reproduction is mostly external. And these are the representative members of this family class. The third class is class gastropoda structure and functions most have shells univel that is one piece aperture opening upper column cover habitat variety of habitats from littoral zone to the ocean bottom and even open oceans feeding mostly on herbivores and carnivores scavengers and deposit feeders filters and uh, reproduction mode is mostly separate sexes and internal and these are the representative members of this class. The next class is class Phallopoda. Structure and function, shell valves, foot, siphon, fleshy body, have a ring of tentacles project from the anterior edge of the head. 
and the feeding mode is carnivores use muscle cells to rip off tissue and swallow food reproduction mostly sexes are separate and external and uh, habitat is mostly free swimmers and you can see here complete and uh, clear example of this class and uh, the next class is bivalves structure of this uh, class bivalves have no head and no radula their bodies are literally compressed and the two halves of shells that cover it are attached dorsally at the hinge by ligaments feeding mode is most are filter feeders they mainly eat plankton reproduction sexes are separate fertilization take place in water column for most species internal habitat most species live in sand and mud by boring and these are the representative members of this class now we will discuss what is the importance of mollusca mollusca are indirectly harmful to man but most of them are beneficial mollusca are of great importance in various ways they are some benefits of mollusca number 1 is the harmful mollusks are slug and shipworms slugs are injurious in garden and cultivations they not eat leaves but also destroy plants by cutting up their roots and stems ship worm damages wooden parts of the ship the second one many mollusks are great source of food for man in many parts of the world large quantity of calm oyster and mussels are eaten in forest europe and america oysters are regarded as delicious shell of freshwater mussel is used in button industry the shell of oyster is mixed with that for making roads in america and the next one is shell is in certain parts of the world are also used for making ornaments some oysters also make valuable pearls for that is pearl oysters some pearls are used for making jewelry some animals include in this phyla are used to eat in some countries and you can see here that how people eat them allah